Hey guys, US Coast Guard here. Um, with a tutorial, a redo tutorial on how to run and install, install and run dedicated servers for Arma 2, Arma 2 Free, Arma Operations Arrowhead, I think, etc. So, uh, first thing you want to do is download the uh, link in the description. It'll give you the TA. 2DST dedicated servers thing, which is uh, what you're going to run your dedicated servers with. So, um, you want to get to your computer, local disk, go to program files, and you want to go to Bohemia Interactive. Double click that, and uh, if you installed, uh, you have to extract the files for the Test. Well, I call it task, but whatever. You install it and you get this. You should not have. Let's just let's delete that for now. You should have here. You should you should have all this stuff right here. And if you don't, um, that's all right. But the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna open up another uh, Windows Explorer. And we're going to go back to our computer disk, local disk, sorry, program files, and we're going to go back to Bohemia, Bohemia Interactive. Go to your Arma 2 or Arma 2 Free. Use Arma 2 Free. And you want to go to, you see where it says missions here? You don't want that. You want the MP missions, and all your multiplayer missions will be in here. So what you're going to do is, you don't want to cut it, you want to copy it. Click copy. And get rid of that and now what you want to do is when you have this here I'm going to paste it in here and we go into the tasks open this file and paste it in here as well so when you've done that what you want to do is click Arma 2 you'll get back to your tasks whatever it's called and you just want to double click that hit run and uh, setting up a server is pretty simple uh, the name of your server password if you want it admin password I'm going to change that I always freaking mess up I'm gonna change that because I know a lot of people from Warner 2 watch who play my servers uh, yeah, not that I don't want them to be admins or anything but you know um, so this is your message of the day this is what the uh, players see when they enter the game so you could just be like welcome oops welcome and uh, seconds between messages we're going to go with five so this is going to be the first message here and then five seconds later the next message which you just press enter to go down to the next uh, space here and then you type in whatever you want again it's just like enjoy your server no and then no hacking is permitted spelled that wrong I think and uh, we'll keep it like that and so every five seconds one of these messages will play but it will not loop so this is 15 seconds right here um, so now you want to go to missions file I'll click that and uh, if you don't have your uh, mission you want here, what you want to do is click the uh, filter, which says all. You want to go to your game, which mine is on the two. And then you get all your missions. So I'm going to do 28 days later because dynamic zone sandbox crashes constantly. And um, when you've done that, you just double click the game that you want. And if you want to, you can add more so that an admin can change it if you want to. Mods, don't mess with this. Really, nothing you can do with that. I'm not too uh, used to that. Um, right here, we have some of the settings. So, uh, edit the settings here. If you just click on the uh, words, uh, it'll tell you what it is. Performance, uh, 
I wouldn't really mess with this unless you know what you're doing. So your scripts, again, don't mess with this unless you know what you're doing. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Next thing you want to do is hit launch. When you've set everything up, and you should get this. And it really like this. I don't think that my uh, 28 days later thing is extracted, so I don't think it'll work for me right now, but I guarantee you if you do it right, it will work. So then you want to start up Arma 2, and a lot of people are like, well I can't find it. Well this is why. Okay, it's going to take a second to load up here. And when you get to the main menu, you want to click multiplayer. And uh, you know how you usually get this? Click address once, and it should say address LAN, and you will find your server. And you just hit join. Now, if you wait for host for like 10 minutes, then you should probably leave and uh, look at your mission file that you enabled. But oh, it worked. And as you can see, we have all this, and if we leave, the dedicated server is still up, no matter what. And also, a little feature I forgot to show you guys, just the exit out of this. Click our... Uh, here we go, we got our server tool, and uh, battle eye, not knowing too much about that. Uh, Persistent battlefield. Missions still run on even after the player last player is disconnected. So if you want that, say you have a game mode that doesn't save. Well you can pretty much save it kind of. Except if you end the ser dedicated server, it won't actually save. But uh yeah. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you understood this more. Um I know a lot of people are like, you know what what do I do here? What do I do uh, at this part? What do I do that part? So uh, I thought I'd just clear a little bit out. And uh, yeah, make sure to like and favorite, guys, and I'll see you all later.